The show is made possible in part by its supporting sponsors. Blue Otter Power Group of Companies. Joe's Discount Tire. And AskGuy.ca. Everybody I have on the show has a story. And uh, I, that's why I like doing these one-to-ones. Again, in somebody's home that's got lots of stories to tell. <laughs> But uh, we'll get into that. Lance Paradis, thank you so much for giving me your time here in your home. Dave, this is an honor. Thanks very much. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, it was fun. Uh, I always say, like, coming to somebody's home is nice because you get to see the inside of what they're about. But from the moment you walk in a door, that's how you tell. And, like, you were – the door was already open and welcome, and then your boys came out and said, hi, <laughs> hello, Mr. Burroughs. Like, yeah. that was really cool, right? Yeah. So uh, this is a real welcoming space. Well, I'll tell you, most people would tell you about me too. I'm always got my shoes on waiting for them to show up yeah. or for them to, or for us to go somewhere together. So yeah. being prepared, they were out here to come see you. That's how it is in this house. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Are you the type like um, where you open the door and you just say, just pop by just, to, or, 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 or should people call ahead first? Uh, I'm I'm easy either way, yeah. it, depending on how long it's been since I saw you, or <laughs> if it's a random. If it was someone knocking on the door for help, I would definitely open yeah. the door. That's the kind of guy I am. So. Yeah, yeah, right on. Boy, I I like. Where do we begin? Because like you and I met through the Sarnia Sting. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I thought, who's this crazy guy coming in here? Right? Like, yeah. who is that? Yeah. You get all dressed up in your B costume? Uh, just a super fan. I'm uh, black and yellow rocking it yeah, again yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, uh, 41 year old man that still <laughs> likes to play dress up. So uh, that's me. Uh, the kids like it. Uh, yeah. Been doing that uh, for the Hamilton Tiger Cats for several years. Went oh, to wow. school down there. Got a media pass. Fell in love with that. Right. Moved back to Sarnia. Still going back there. Still dressing up yeah. as the the big cat down there. So yeah. I don't have an official name here yeah. uh, at the, at the uh, Honey oh. Pot or. At the, what, what are we calling it now at the uh, well the, the progressive the, arena I guess the, the home of the state the, yeah, the, the hive the hive That's so right. yeah yeah I uh, I guess I'm the uh, the carpenter bee there <laughs> if you want to call it that. Uh, <laughs> Had my uh, flowers given to me that night for Carpenter Night. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's got cool. asked out there and dropped the puck, and uh, it, it's great. Uh, I love it. Uh, maybe some people would say I'm a dopamine addict, ah, but hey, you know what? Uh, just an old man likes to play dress up, I guess. Well, why, why, why do you got to stop having fun, right? You know, that's like, right. What is it? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's been a disappointing. I, I, maybe that's not the word. Uh, I'll be the cliche saying of not the outcome we were looking for with the Sarnia Sting. Yep. But there's a lot of positives, uh, I would say, that came from this team. This, this season, uh, as far as the, the win column goes, may not be what we thought it was supposed to be. Yeah. After uh, a great season last, making it to the Western Conference Final, yeah. uh, sleeping out to get tickets to bring the boys. <laughs> right. I never thought I'd see that in Sarnia. When you go back, you know, even 20, even 10 years ago, right. some of their yeah. dismal crowds it's there. hard coming. And uh, they got there. And that got the, the buzz going if you yeah. will and uh we caught sting fever here yeah. uh the boys are loving it they're at the age where they want to be at the sting game yeah. not just walking around they want to watch it and uh, i have they're never hanging out with dad yeah yeah it's uh, my wife's kind of let us have our guys night go to stokes inland for wings right and yeah, uh, cause I, I don't even know who your wife is yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we go to uh stokes for wings make it a guys night uh me and the boys and here we are, hockey lovers, you're hockey some, nuts. You're creating some memories with your boys. That's too, right? that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What uh, uh, what's your favorite thing about the Sarnia Sting? It's being there. Like I've said, I played hockey my whole life yeah. uh, here. I played men's league, and now I'm uh, helping my boys uh, in Point Edward where they play hockey. And uh, it's just being at the rink, yeah. watching hockey, watching them fall in love with the game that I fell so in yeah, love with cool. growing up. So you're born and raised Sarnia? Born and raised Sarnia, Ontario, August 20th, 1982. Oh, wow. The day what'd, you, that, what'd your parents do? Uh, my dad's a carpenter. I'm a second generation okay. carpenter for local 1256. And my mom was uh, an office admin for uh, various companies around town. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, wow, this is, uh, I, I I do remember, like I said, the first time I saw it, I'm like, what is going on there? But I also felt compelled to go. And say hello. Yeah. Like, who are you? And like, I think we, you know, we took a picture one time and then uh, I think we kind of dragged you onto the, <laughs> the, the concourse broadcast yeah. a couple of times. Yeah. And uh, we've, we've shared beers <laughs> and conversations yeah. and uh, you're just uh, uh, like people recognize, like you're a 
You're a part of the <laughs> furniture, I would say, at Sarnia Sting now. I'd like to think I've, I've maybe got there. I have uh, some of the uh, younger fans. Uh, I've given out chains, some of the yellow chains. So they rock it. Like you'll see in some of the yeah, pictures yeah, here. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, that, uh, that have ever remembered me say that you're famous. Oh, there's that famous guy. <laughs> I guess I'm Sarnia Sting famous, but uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, and then I had a young girl just at the last game said that she was looking for me. We were away for those games for the boys' right, hockey. Right. Brought me a bracelet and still remembered who I was and wanted to take another How picture. Cool is that? So, I mean, that's, that's heartwarming. If I can make one person smile or have a good time or hand out, a, like, say, one of the chains, yeah, yeah. something tangible they'll remember. That's, uh, that's Maybe the Sarnia Sting need to make it official somehow. I'll <laughs> find a name for you and give uh, uh, Buzz and Honey a little competition. Oh, I, I love there. it, and I, I love seeing them too. Uh, <laughs> the people that do that, that is a thankless job as well, and uh, they do a great job at it. And uh, yeah, I, I would love to be a part of something yeah. like that. Where does where does your uh, where does this come from, mom or dad? Or I, I don't I don't really know. I would say more from my from my mom's side, I yeah. guess, but. Uh, I don't know. I just, I guess maybe it's a love for the camera. Like I said, maybe it's just, yeah. uh, just a feeling you get when uh, you're making people, people happy, I guess. Yeah. Speaking of the camera, let's yeah. shift gears. I just told you the story a little bit about, so I originally reached out to Lance because of the sting thing. And I thought, this is fun to sit down and, and yeah. talk about that. And then I went, oh, the trades. Yeah. Uh, this is on Crave now. It is. And it, uh, I saw, uh, I watched the first two episodes yeah. and the very first episode with Tom Green. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, they're just not holding back from the very first scene. Yeah. It's uh, a How big did, change. A big wow. change from uh, <laughs> from some of these other people's shows where you know them to yeah. get all the talent that the... And my friends have gotten uh, together for that ensemble cast is uh, all in one. Like yeah. there's so many there. Yeah, right? they're uh, shooting for the moon, and I think they've got it. And myself, I'm uh, lucky, to, lucky and grateful to have been a barnacle on the on so, the show. So, okay, let's back up here because uh, I've been chatting with Ryan Lindsay a little bit too. Yeah, that's a clue. Yeah. Um, and like, how did this all come about that your your uh, characters meet? I play meet, yeah, uh, on on the show Crave or on the on the show The Trades now streaming yeah. on Crave, which just premiered uh, on March twenty second, yeah. and they're my episode or my episode, I shouldn't say the episode that you'll see uh, featured Lance yeah. Paradis as meet. I can't wait. Is, You're episode uh, three, yes, episode three. That'll be sensitivity training for all of you that are will be watching, <laughs> and uh, I'll be making my debut. It came about. Uh, say I got into the trades. And Ryan had been doing uh, acting and various projects in uh, film, television. And his brother, Kellen, works with me. And also his brother, Tyson, who's a pipe fitter as well. I guess Ryan had been talking about doing this show. And I got asked to maybe go give some input. People think on site, yeah, I'm, I don't want to say I'm hilarious or, or too funny, but I have a, a good comic, com, comic side, I guess. Yeah. And they're like, hey, come give some ideas. We're looking for some real life stories. So for everybody <laughs> out there, there's, there's a lot of characters down in the Chemical Valley and all the locals. And uh, a lot of the stories are inspired from true events or real events. Maybe some of the characters on the show may the have- The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Yeah. So to everybody <laughs> out there I've worked with, I haven't been keeping track completely of who it was, <laughs> but I know of what you've done or, or how it was done or what was said. So uh, I'm always recording in the, in, in the brain. They stories about you too. I'm right? sure they do <laughs> that we don't have to share once the episode comes out and I enjoy my 15 seconds of fame. So yeah, yeah it's a, a very awesome thing to be a part of. Um, like I said, Ryan, what he did, uh, what he's done over the course of the last, what, five, six years. Yeah, this and is taking time. To it it, it has, uh, through a pandemic, no less, uh, to get this. Right. We shot a pilot here in Sarnia at Lambda College with a lot of actors from uh, from Sarnia. Yep. And if you had told me then that it would be where we are now. I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's all because of the driving force and the heart that guy has and dedication to not say a no and... Uh, Keep moving forward. Yeah. When you got a vision, he's one of the guys that, yeah. like a locomotive, can't be stopped. So, right on. yes, yeah. um, it's interesting because there are a lot of references so far. What I've seen yeah. to Sarnia, yeah, uh, it's Imperial Valley. Yes, it is. And then I saw there was a scene in in a restaurant called the Leaky Pipe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there, there so, definitely was. There definitely right? was. That. So, what? And and have you had opportunity to like? hang out or meet the other cast yeah. members and stuff. yeah when i What's when i went like? when i went down to film the scene that i be uh will be premiering in again uh this this coming week yeah. got to meet uh 
Rob Wells, who plays uh, Ricky, but plays Todd on this show, and yep. we'll try to get away from the Ricky stuff. Todd is becoming his own character. Yep. Anasta- Todd Stewart. That's right. And uh, Anastasia Phillips, brilliant actress. She's also in Moonshine, and uh, very, very uh, nice person to approach. Susan Kent was awesome. Dan P, who plays McMurray <laughs> in uh, Letter Kenny, he's a beauty as well. And uh, these people are just so humble. So kind and so welcoming. It's uh, really refreshing to know that because people say, don't meet your heroes, and then you do, and maybe you're disappointed. I'm not. I'm glad to have met them and lucky. Yeah, that's fantastic. This is uh, exciting for so many different reasons, Uh, you know, for you, for the city we live in, uh, for Ryan, obviously. Um, Is this uh, this like a – like have you been involved in in anything like this before? Well, my, myself, I went to school for broadcasting. Okay. I uh, wanted to be the next Bobby the Brain Heenan. I'm a huge <laughs> wrestling fan. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah that? that's right. And uh, I, uh, my wow. cover, my cover letter when I applied to various colleges around uh, Ontario, getting accepted to Mohawk College, went, did that. So I wanted to be in the media side. Got out and found out that media had changed or was changing while I was there. I needed to go away, volunteer, yeah. and put in your time. Was that at the time? not willing to do that yeah so i thought you know what a career in front of the camera wouldn't be that anymore my brother was working a shutdown telling me all the money he was making living back here mm-hmm. down in hamilton a little bit faster pace taking the go train into toronto i'm like you know what maybe i've worked with my with my uh media stuff long enough maybe it's time to type not break my back but work with uh my hands so came back here joined the carpenters union as i said uh, my father second uh, second generation member myself my brother as well and here i am now everything i have i owe to to being in the union there you go well you know what like uh i didn't go to media school and i got a broadcast that's right maybe, maybe uh we might have to find a way to include you at the certain <laughs> well hey i would uh, i would love something like that i say uh I got the face for radio, but uh, <laughs> I guess maybe maybe this would show it wrong. So, yeah, yeah. it's uh, okay. Let's let's back up a little bit. Yep. Let's talk about home life. Uh, you're married. I'm married. Yeah, Matt, my wife Megan. I've been married to her for coming up to 16 years now. Wow. So you already did that. Like I usually ask the question, "How long have you been married?" And guys <laughs> go, uh, "You, yeah, you right away." And what does she do? Uh, Megan works for Goodwill. Uh, she works for the uh, Connections program. She's now uh, oh. under a new title. Uh, she's going to kill me when I don't remember exactly what it is. She's but doing good things. She's doing awesome. She's a special person. I mean, she comes home uh, to the three of us. So, <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, she probably yeah. has to be here. Right? Uh, very, very, a very patient <laughs> woman. Yeah. 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 And your boys are how old? Uh, my son Lincoln is 15, just yeah. turned it, and Paxton is 11. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're a handful as they are. They say... They're a handful when they're younger. It gets easier. It gets older. That's a lie. That's whoever that's a lie. whoever said that. Uh, we can, we'll say it. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's, but good kids, good boys. Awesome. Yeah. I'm uh, pride and joy. Like no, no joke. Uh, hope hopefully we're raising the guys that I think that or the young men yeah. that uh, I would hope to carry on the legacy of the Aside Paradise. Aside from, I mean, obviously you've made a career here, um, and uh, so is your wife if it wasn't for that career, what is it about Sarnia that you like that keeps you here? You know what it is? It's just, it's, it's the people. It's the, my, my wife will tell you it's the beach. <laughs> she well, will. Yeah. She, she's a huge beach. I hear that bum. A lot. Myself. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's the pace. It's the people. It's the, the scenery. It's everything. This is, this is where I became who I was. And I, yeah. my wife says she loves it too. She'll say it's the biggest small town you've ever been to. I agree. And you can't go anywhere. Like myself, we can't go to the mall. We can't go to a department store, a grocery store around Christmas time. She's like, you know that guy? You oh, know yeah, that yeah, guy? Yeah, you yeah, turn, yeah. turn around, you know that guy? You know that guy? Yeah. It, uh, it's everywhere. And now she's <laughs> Ask fi- my wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now she's finding the same too with, yeah. uh, with where she's at. So, yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, it really, it's, it's just a great, t- I, it's funny you bring up the beaches because my last several interviews, every person is set up. Uh, about the beaches and like uh in toronto way it's like you got to plan the weekend oh yeah you definitely find a beach and it, but here it's like what are you doing after week? Ah, we're gonna go to the beach and you're there in like five minutes whatever yeah. direction it, you this go. this place has it all it's got a place for you to work whether it's in industry or you know in different fields it's it's got that uh, the college is doing great now yeah and i uh, say it's got a junior hockey team that we should be proud of it's got a good school system we yeah. we got it all. The border's right there. Right. I mean, it may not be as I, mean, I remember years ago we were going every Friday over there, 
And that was I a might big, have been there with you. I'd yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was a, that was a big selling point, and having it so close, and being a Detroit Tigers and Red Wings fan oh, myself, yeah, okay. yeah, it's right there. So that was another big. You're selling a Tigers point. fan. You say that yes. out loud. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I have no problem saying it in the even the tattoo on my leg would tell you that. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't not be a Tigers fan. I'm named after a home run that I put in 1982 off the bat of the big wheel, number 13, Lance Parrish. Oh, And okay. so we have Lance Paradis. So, there yeah. Yeah. What's your, what's your, uh, like, Paradis? Is that, what is that? Is that French or is it? Yeah, yeah. Some French. There's some native in there. My mom's on the Ukrainian side. Okay. So, yeah, Paradis is a, a French-Canadian uh, indigenous as well. So, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. A lot of positives to talk about for Sarnia, and that's, what, you know, I always like to focus on the positive. But... Uh, I, I want to dig a little deeper with you, Lance, sure. because um, there's never a, a perfect town, right, or whatever, a perfect world kind of thing. Yeah. So I'll go back to uh, the pandemic. Yeah. Um, how was that for you and your family? Well, the kids didn't like, well, you talked to Paxton. Uh, my, my youngest loved being off school. Right. He's one of Well, I said what he liked about school. He <laughs> said lunch, recess, and my friends. I'm like, yeah. okay, I get that. And then my older son, Lincoln, he likes to be around his friends. I know it was hard on them. Uh, my wife's job, uh, being around clients and different spots, uh, not being able to go to the office, having to work from home was tough on her. Mm -hmm. For me, just worked. You just kept going to work. Just kept yeah. going to work. The industry doesn't stop. The hammer's got to swing. And yeah, we got to build these new, new uh, spots for other people to work. And for for money to be made, so yeah. didn't really change much. How long for have you me. been a part of the carpentry? I've been in the carpentry for eighteen years now, yeah. and wow, yeah. that sounds uh, <laughs> that sounds like a long like, time, wow. and, and and it really really feels like it too. Yeah. I I can't I can't believe I've been back in in this town for twenty years after leaving at the age of nineteen, going away and then coming back. It's yeah. uh, and it, they're uh, there. Would you say the carpenters union uh, is very family oriented? Definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. We. Uh, I would say, say hardworking guys, caring guys. Uh, you got something wrong with you? I'm caring about it. It's a, uh, it's a great spot. Yeah. It's a really good spot. I know uh, sponsors of the sting sponsors too, of the right? sting, and, sponsors and, and of a lot, lot of events, a lot of, a lot of events. Sure. Very, very generous with, uh, with the money that we uh, bring in, and it's a, uh, it's a great, great organization to be a part of. I'm really yeah. proud of it. That's awesome. You can say that. Yeah. Uh, back to the trades for a minute now. Yeah. I mean, that whole experience of, you know, what we the viewers see. Yeah. Um, and what it takes to make one episode, oh. like, because one episode is like, I don't know, 25 or 26 minutes. 27 minutes, I believe it is, like yeah. That, right? Like, just under 30, and, uh, but it takes a whole lot more than that to make the one episode. What did you learn, or, or was there an experience where you're like, wow, I didn't know that's how they made that, or it's did a, that? It's a long day. Whoever comes up with a schedule to make it go, there's so many moving parts. Uh, people behind the cameras, whether it's people in, in catering, makeup, everything. I mean, they make everybody look like a, a star. And uh, <laughs> the, the people overseeing, like, oh, let's shoot this again. Let's shoot it from this angle. Let's get this camera. Oh, yeah. There's so many moving parts to it. And yeah. it's such a long day. And then I was only there shooting one day. But uh, it's a thrill of my life to be a part of that, even yeah. if it was the longest day ever. I, right. I wish it never ended. So you need a lot of patience. Yeah, you, there, 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 your role. yeah, there's there's waiting, and uh, you know you don't want to mess up. I mean, this is this could be my one shot. I hate to well, sound like no, no. the real slim. Are you shady just in here. one episode, or are you? More? Uh, you may see me in the background of a few episodes, yeah, okay, but right. uh, I was kind of it was kind enough for them to put me in. Maybe it was some some of my ideas or the stuff I've done. Uh, just on the side, not 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 that I've done a vast majority of things, but your inputs valid. Yeah, yeah, and uh, this is this is my gift, I guess. So yeah. there. A speaking line on a television show, I never would have dreamt it when I hung up the, the microphone and media stuff uh, many, many years ago. And and, uh, and who knows? Like, I'm, I'm sure the hope is that this goes on for many seasons. I, you know? I, I don't see why it wouldn't. I think the the, the, the heart and the, the comedy is there. Give it a chance, people. It's going to be I, I, something to behold. I, I, I will tell you that. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I, I think initially uh, because of some of the associates, like Tom Green. I love, yeah. It's, yeah. It's Tom Green. <laughs> this guy loves everything. Yeah. Uh, and, and used to watch him, you know, yeah. when I was younger, stuff, like 90s and stuff. And then, but I, I, I presumed a type of comedy based on, the characters that were all in there yep. from Tom Green to, you know, Trailer Park Boy and so on and so forth. And uh, 
but I made the choice to really open my mind to it. And yeah. it was like, like I said, that very first episode where they just, I'm like, both my wife and I are sitting there and we're roaring and we're just like, it really set the tone. Yeah. Is it fair to say, I know you probably signed an NDA and all yeah. that stuff that you can't say stuff, but is that first scene, that's a part of uh, kind of setting the tone of what to expect every episode? I would think so. I said uh, it's, it's good Canadian humor, yeah, yeah, yeah. humor as well. And there's a uh, sentimental side, a touch of it in there. And too, you right? have to have that, right? Like we're yeah. building, uh, they're building characters right now. You're getting to yeah. know new characters. Say so it's hard for people to shake it off. Like, you know, Arnold isn't the Terminator in all his movies. Well, that's right. Right. Stallone is not always Rocky. So people have to understand that and give these characters a chance I to think they're doing a good really job. blossom. I, I think so too. And uh, that's a tribute to the writing team they have and to the vision of the uh, directors and the creators. So uh, there was a, a, oh, it's so hard for me not to say if you haven't watched yeah. it, but there was a scene in there that something happened and I'm like, it's, it was almost like they they put this in to disconnect this character from something, yeah. another show they've done in the past. Yeah. And I thought that's how it hit me. And I was like, that's so clever yeah. how they did. I know you probably know what I'm talking about there, but um, what, what, what's the vibe on a set too? Like, I mean, are, is the whole, I'm assuming the whole cast isn't there the same day you're there. It's kind of like if they're not shooting their part that day, yeah, they're, they're there or are they? No, like if you're not needed, you're away in, in your uh, trailer or a different area getting ready. Maybe you're in wardrobe or makeup or just you're, it's your day off. So yeah. you're not needed that day. You Hey, you have a life too, right? Yeah, right. You mentioned you've known Ryan Lindsay. Yes. The creator and yeah. writer and all the titles. Yep. Um, uh, how long have you known him? I've known Ryan. I think the first day I met him was, I was in grade 10. He'd be in grade 11. Uh, we pulled up next to each other. I had just got my grandfather's 1984 Hyundai Pony, a white one, <laughs> a beauty of a oh vehicle. Oh my God, I remember those. Yeah, and pulled up <laughs> right next to the parking lot to a red 1984 Hyundai Pony, wow. and that was Ryan. And you've been friends ever since? Like, have friends. you stayed in touch all this time? Yeah, or drifted off, once in a while? Drifted off, off now, but now that he's back in town, yeah. it's. Uh, we were just talking about, I'm like, we got to get a pony in that show. And he's, <laughs> so, no, that's that's how it all uh, started. Ryan's a great guy, funny yeah. guy, and uh, I, I'm just thrilled that he was able to, uh, you know, connect, not only reconnect with me, but use some of the ideas that I may have thrown yeah, his way and cool. take my opinion and uh, respect it. It's, 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 it's a thrill. Um, foreshadowing, Ryan Lindsay. That's all I can say. Yeah. Um, we, we tend to, uh, you know, you talked about life, like you went away for a bit and then you came back and you tried broadcasting and it didn't quite work out. Yep. It was, uh, it, timing's really had a factor in all Absolutely. of that, right? Yeah. Um, I'll put you on the spot in front of the Carpenters Union that's probably watching. Um, but like if, if I mean, obviously the trades has given some opportunity here, but is that still in you somewhere where you'd like to go? Like, I would love would to Would you that. leave the Carpenters Union if you could do that full time? I dare I ask that question. This would be uh, a, a, a very, very good acting question. <laughs> but uh, I, the opportunities I've been afforded through the union as well yeah. are, are something I'm thankful for. And that's made me who I am now. So yeah. uh, maybe I can use that as a reference for other industrial parts for anyone out there that may be interested in that. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing, a, playing a carpenter on the show. So yeah. I'm, really playing myself under a different name. So uh, I, I don't know. I mean, who who wouldn't? Who wouldn't if they had the opportunity? How dare I ask? You have to seize the opportunities That's when right. they come knocking. Are you a, do you consider yourself a philosophical man? Not really, no. no. Not really. Just kind of go through it and go through it. feel uh, good stuff? Yeah. Then. Yeah, I think that... Uh, the good will always prevail, I guess. Maybe that's from watching He-Man as a child. But uh, <laughs> there's lots of stuff. I mean, I don't like in, in movies when someone dies for no reason. I like I like oh, all yeah, it, I okay. guess. I'm right, a feel-good kind of guy. So yeah. if it's supposed to happen, I guess it will. And if it's not, then, well, something, something, something you or something someone else did to or for you is was is responsible for that. I don't okay. believe in in divine intervention. Okay, but right. seize the moment. I guess would be uh, the one I live yeah. by. That's yeah. a philosophy. Yeah, right? I guess. Let's talk some more about Sarnia Sting. Uh, you know, it's you know they come out the gate really strong, yeah. and I think a lot of people, including myself and others, were surprised by that because of such a young team yeah. that came out. Um, 
And then I called them the stock market team or, or the elevator team. Like they were yeah. up, they were down, they were up, they were yeah. down. That's what I mean by that. And that's not an insult by any means. They're a young team. Did, did you have an expectation at the beginning of the season? And was that surpassed? Or were, like, what's your feelings on what happened? If you could describe this. I think, I think maybe out of the gate, I mean, we lost a lot of good players. They, they yeah. kind of sold a lot to get, to get where we got to. Yeah. Uh, Last year, but this season they come out of the gate pretty hot. They really did. They yeah. had the LeBanks there. Vilmanis was playing really well. Uh, Benny was kicking. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know. You, you just see it. They're a very young team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they finished. I mean, I would maybe expect a little bit more, but hey, you can't win them all, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Were you disappointed when Benny Godreau left? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely was. My, uh, my oldest son was his favorite player. Yeah. And we had just met him prior to that. Uh, the, the game before and the next day, we have a picture up there on on my uh, Instagram page, and I had to come <laughs> and tell the boys Benny got traded, and they yeah. were pretty pretty upset about that. But hey, Nick's a good goalie, and I think uh, if they're going to go with him going forward. He's got a I got a good shot. And so. Carson's great. He's, He's very well too, very good. They both had a great great finish to the season. I think so. And uh, they they're nothing but up. They got Houston hurt or Houston hurt. He's a great player. Ryan Brown is going to be a superstar in the OHL. Yeah, you remember. heard that. James Barr, nothing but upside. And I think they're uh, they're set for another – maybe we're two years away, but that team yeah. is going to be very good. I think we're going to be really strong coming. And I don't just say that, you know, because I'm there and a part of it. Yep. I, like, I really watch – and uh, it's kind of the ongoing joke that I'm really not a sports guy. I have trouble spelling sports. <laughs> but, I know, but, I, but I know my Sarnia Sting, and I've watched. I've learned a lot. And uh, one of the things I've learned through um, not just the coaching staff and watching them and talking to some of them, uh, Jake Borey, who's you know the, the guy down there yep. now, and, and Lee Cunningham, every all the moving parts as yeah. you would call it. Um, there's a real positive philosophy that I feel is going yep. on. Do you, as a fan, sense that philosophy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Uh, like I say, when I I, I don't want to say it was because of the rally board around the arena <laughs> and the new lighting you have that it's a game day experience it's everything yeah. like the new dressing room we've got to tour that oh, now it's amazing and uh what the facilities just everything and now the crowd is there all the time and uh i think we we're in the top four in attendance yeah so the players see that it's uh it's a spot it's a spot now it's not not london it's not kitchener but hey we're right there for the size and, absolutely and for let's be honest it's for the ranking we were at yeah. the fans stood by yeah they did for like 18 games i don't think we had less than four thousand in attendance a, the last game home game was like just north of 4600 yeah it's amazing where do you think that's coming from i think it's uh people got caught up in the hype and yeah. it's something that people can get behind now it's it's not just a oh this thing you're playing it's an event i think people it's, it's not a i don't want to say it's a can't miss event but it's something that people don't want to miss yeah it's a um I want to say hashtag our time for yeah. next year. Yeah. You know, um, Alan Latang, Coach Alan Latang. Yeah. Um, love him as a coach. Great coach. Yeah. Great coach. Awesome guy to meet uh, in, the, yeah. in the bar after when we go there for your show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got to speak with him there. Humble guy. Was a good hockey player. Uh, accomplishments out of this world. Oh, like, and, uh, and he's say, so calm. Yeah, yeah, very much. I don't like what happened at the end of the uh, yeah. season there, but I don't, I don't put that all on him. Did I, you? Yeah, um, let's, okay, let's talk about that as much as we can, right? Yeah. You know, uh, I, I was there, and, yeah. and, and I was setting up for post game. Yeah. And, and I usually sit with some friends, and we watch it on the TV, and then, of course, it's delayed, so we get there. I'm like, what is going on? And then, and then we started watching it, and – I felt bad for him. Absolutely. I thought, here's a guy who has played his way to where he is, you know, uh, in foreign leagues, and then, and then, uh, you know, for uh, for uh, Canadian yep. uh, hockey, and did really well there. Yeah. Um, despite the criticism that he took, and sometimes takes even with the, the sting, you know, yep. and I'm like, how can you? I don't. I don't understand how people can criticize a guy like that because he's so, so calm. And I've talked to some referees, former referees, yes. and they would say, um, for a guy who's always so calm, if he were to raise his voice at me as a yeah. referee, I would skate away and go, hmm, maybe I did do something wrong because this guy <laughs> – but that – it, it didn't go that way. Yeah. And then Hayes comes out and gets to what, – what do you call what happened there? 
I, I don't know. I don't want to say it's a power trip from referee. I know that that's a position that's always heavily scrutinized. Uh, there were some questionable calls that game. I think it was not inappropriate <laughs> because it doesn't. Uh, but we look at a guy like Sikic last game gets a 10. Cooper Way last game gets a 10 in his home arena. And and then that I think I think it is may it, be is it, is it because of the home arena that it bothered you or is it just I, I like, don't know what it is like, I just I don't I didn't ten, see the ten. Ten, tens get thrown out in hockey I watch not as often as Especially I saw that last yeah home. I'm not saying let stuff go no. but uh, I thought I thought that might have been maybe a display I don't know maybe maybe that referee that made those calls was looking for uh, some shine maybe in the OHL playoffs but. As far as this Sting fan's concerned, it uh, dulled the light uh, quite, or dimmed the light quite yeah. bit, that is. So. You know, like the final home game, yeah. and the fans were there, and, you know, a lot of the Sting players. Of course, I mean, uh, as Coach Latang is, and, and the rest of the coaches and the staff are, you know, uh, Dylan Seeker would say, too, like, there's an expectation still set, even though we're not going to the playoffs. Yep. We still expect to play. It was almost like uh, I think Dylan Sika said uh, at one of the post games that uh, it's almost like tryouts for next season. Yeah, like who's going to be here? Yeah. Do you feel that the bar was set high as it should be for this team? And did they? I know. I don't know how am I trying to ask this? Like it's. I know they lost some games, but do you feel like the Sting really did as good as they could with what they had? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We got young, yeah. young kids that are out there making mistakes. I mean, my kids make mistakes. Yeah. And hey, I'd like they to do. see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my kids make I mistakes. Still do. Yeah. What are you talking about, right? <laughs> right. But uh, they're learning from it. And uh, I think they'll be better for it. I really do. I think they'll come out on the right side. Yeah. The uh, Cerny Sting is also a big community yeah. uh, support. Um, and th that's important, right? Would you say? Absolutely. Uh, a team like this, I know my kids will, will tell you having that school game. It was amazing. Right. I don't know if that was a Sting initiative or if that was an OHL initiative. Yeah. Having that, all the kids at the game, amazing. Like, what an opportunity for kids who would never get a chance maybe to go to a game and enjoy a sporting event. I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, the Sting having their players go to the school, take questions from the kids. I know my kids will tell you it was quite a thrill. Yeah. So that that is something and when that's they awesome. Go to the mall, yeah, they Boston go to the mall, pizza, Boston Pizza. I was just right? going to say that that's, uh, that's awesome. It's awesome to see kids from another city coming here and representing our city, the team that they play for so well. It's a real positive thing to see. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, how's, how is, uh, how's our city doing, do you think? You know, I don't know if I can tap on you about, I don't want to say politics or whatever, but, like, is there is there stuff you wish was going on here that's not? Or are we missing anything? Do the kids have enough to do? Or I, I don't know. I like to say, as far, as far as my age and my now, the teenage son, Sam McGrath, there's concerts. There's places to yeah. go. There's places to go now. I mean, I, we don't have a trampoline park. We don't have a parachute park. We don't, we don't, but we don't need that <laughs> stuff. We got the. We have the beaches. We have yeah. excellent sport sports uh, facilities. Uh, we have the the field at the uh, at the rugby club. I'll call it or the football field. Yeah, right. right. And uh, we have that. We we have all kinds of stuff here. There's yeah. there's lots for them to do. But I mean, hey. The way kids are now, and even mine, they're on their phones. Are you, a bit. Play, are you playing any video games? I am not. The only no? only video game I play, <laughs> and you, my friends will test with, is still uh, on the Super Nintendo of NHL 94. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I haven't got into the gaming whatsoever. I'm a Mario yet. Kart guy, uh, and that's about it. Yeah. And heck, I would take a, a, a Space Invaders yeah. or Galaga. Galaga. Yeah, I, uh, I'd like to do that. I still have a WrestleFest arcade from 1991 downstairs that I can't get enough of, but I can't yeah. find anybody that wants to play have it. Have you ever been to Dristic Beta out on the Golden Yeah, Mile? it's awesome. It's great awesome. there. Like, that's, Pinball machines. Yeah, that's a, a teenage casino, as I would call it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, what do you, so hockey's over now. Yep. Uh, you know, you're still working, obviously. So, what do you do now? Uh, like, what's your summertime look like? I get ready for the CFL season yeah. to become oh, the CFL, big cat. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big, big fan. Uh, I'm the big cat down there. I have a tailgate party oh, yeah, right. uh, called the Litter Box. Uh, <laughs> so we get going down there. That's our, my my weekends down there. Uh, we'll go camping. We have a trailer. Uh, we'll go fishing. Uh, the boys have been playing rugby the last couple of seasons. Oh, yeah. Got to wow. give a shout out to the Sarnia Saints. It's a great organization. If anybody's looking for something fun for their kids to do over the summer, you can talk to the youth director or you can talk to the men's program. It's an awesome facility and an awesome place rugby, for your kids. I don't know. Like, I'm a wimp. Hey. <laughs> I'm, talking to you right I, I'm telling you, I'm a wimp. Hey. I can't. You do that. Ow, yeah. I just. 
Yeah, it's uh, That's a it, tough it, sport. It, yeah, it is. And but the, we have the, that organization has got coaches in place that are willing to teach the kids how to do things properly. Yeah. I'm not saying it instills toughness. It creates awareness of how to how to tackle, how to accept a tackle, all that stuff. Uh, the boys are also going to be playing ball hockey in the new Sarnia Ball uh -huh. Hockey League. Played that last year. Awesome run. Uh, run thing at the Clearwater Arena, maybe at Point Edward this year. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's that's what our summers are going to look and like. And you're just really involved with them doing that, I, right? I, you're right there. I try, I try to be, uh, I don't want to be that one that's always involved as yeah. a coach or uh, always around because uh, I think it's important to have your kids uh, be able to be coached by, no, be coached by other people as oh, well I so see, they yeah. can hear it from somebody else, not just from, from me. I think that's an important thing. Yeah. And where's mom in all this? Does she come? Does she <laughs> Mama, come all mom, this? Mom's a super fan. She's there. Uh, as far as my, my clothing and voice might do, do the, the, the volume button a little too high. <laughs> my, my wife has a big wooden clacker that she brings to all our sporting events. Nice. And they're like, Oh my God, there's that woman and people move away. So <laughs> that's how it is. She's, she's the one in the crowd that makes the noise. Uh, yeah. Maybe I got to interview her. What's her name? I didn't... Her name's Megan. Megan. Megan that's yeah. right. Okay. Well, Megan, uh, good for you for being in there. Yeah. And boy, this this is a job right here, I'm going to say. Yeah. What does she think about the whole trades thing? She loves it. Yeah. She loves it. Uh, she thinks it's really cool. I mean, she'll come home and I'll listen to her talk about her job. And then she listens to me talk about my job and right. gets a kick out of it. I mean, there's characters. Yeah. Again, like I said, and a lot of the stuff resonates with her because she's heard it. And now she's getting to see it. Not... True to life, a little bit of exaggeration. Oh, but there has to be. That's and I, comedy. Yeah, that's... and I know meeting uh, a lot of the cast this week was a big thrill for her as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah it was really neat. So, uh, what else is there for Lance that Lance hasn't done yet? I really don't know. I've seen Are you my, jumping out of airplanes. No, or anything not like that, you or? wouldn't see me jumping out of an airplane. No, <laughs> no, no chance. No, I mean, even though Big Cass, I would have thought you would have been the guy. No, like, yeah, no, 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 thanks. No, thanks. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Do you travel? Uh, we, we try to. I mean, we went to. We'd go to NASCAR. We've been. Uh, I'm a NASCAR fan, so I've been to a free race with my with my dad and my brother. Last year was kind of a disaster at Michigan. Had a truck not start when the race oh. was. It was. Uh, we didn't want to get into that. That's a sad story. Okay, so, all right. Um, I don't know. The kids want to get back down to Disney World sometimes. Maybe oh. they're getting a little older for that. I don't know. We uh, there's places we want to go with the trailer. Uh, Northern Michigan, maybe do that circuit. There's. Uh, I, I I don't I, re I don't really know. I'm open. Like I say, open the door. Here's the whole world. Let's 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 go find something. So, yeah. I could see you being a coach or something. Well, may, maybe, 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 maybe not for your boys team. Maybe something else. Maybe, you may, to have maybe an acting coach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> it, like this came about, um, you know, partially because you knew Ryan yeah. and so, but how, like, what is like next steps for Lance in this? Uh, I, this I, is I, an opportunity. It's an opportunity. Uh, day, as you said, yeah, yeah. are you going to look for, are you already looking beyond this for something? Uh, right now, I'm just enjoying the so wave the wave that I'm on, <laughs> and uh, we'll see. I mean, hopefully, I get another shot maybe in season two. Uh, that'd be a dream come true again. Uh, I'm li living living the dream uh, as it is now, but uh, yeah. that'd be some. I I, uh, I really don't know. I bet you there's a lot of people, and this happens when a success comes to light. Um, and maybe it's something I'll talk to Ryan about, but, uh, it, it, oh, everybody's showing up now going probably, yeah. Hey, how do I get to be a part of this? How do I get to be a part yep. of this? Which is a good thing, yep. but now it's kind of like, yeah, you're too late. Like we're already, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like everybody wants to be something that's already successful yeah. rather than I, be a part of it before it comes to light. Do you I, know what I mean? Yeah. I definitely understand that. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's too bad that not everybody can, can have it, but, uh, yeah. For the people that do get it, and I'll be one of them. Uh, it's gratitude, it's just being grateful. Are you um, are you allowed to tell us your character, what we can expect, or do we just have to wait and watch? I, I may have a question or two. That's that's all I'm giving you. That's unfortunate. Okay. I may have a all question right. or two for uh, one of the main protagonists. Okay, but, so uh, tease, that's... tease, watch it coming out. Yeah. And, uh, do you know the date it's coming out or? Uh, it's this this coming Friday, so that would be what is it, March the 29th. Right. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The kids and so I may stay this up. This is out after that episode yeah. on the Monday. It's, it's, we're watching April 1st. I yeah. Think it is right. So um, okay. All right. I was thinking, is there a way I can pull something out of him without breaking <laughs> the rules? But uh, uh, but I get that. I respect yeah. that for sure. Yeah. Right. And uh, did you have to like? Uh, did you have to have a, a lawyer? 
look at anything no, or you no. said, sure, I'll sign anything. Hey, I, I don't want to say I would have done it for free, but <laughs> but uh, just just to be, I say, part of it, that's that's enough for me. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, it's been been amazing uh, to be able to associate myself with it, uh, meet yeah. all these people. There's Ryan there. Yeah. And uh, awesome, right? I, n- I never thought, say, pulling up a Hyundai. Party. How do you wear this stuff? Like, I, <laughs> no, I mean, like to see. You look oh, the like glasses. You said- the glasses. You can't see a thing. They're no, si- they're, I, I use my Oakley sunglasses. I've used safety glasses. <laughs> I find the Oakleys now with just a one one lens. It yeah. works the best, and you get stickers from the dollar store for anybody out there that wants to dress up, <laughs> and you just put up with it. I have the glasses up quite a bit too. So yeah, yeah but the the the, uh, the bibs that I wear, I also have. <laughs> just- I also have shorts and pants that go. Again, so for all Theo my, there's Theo there, our favorite usher. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, and they're very comfortable. That's from a website called gamebibs.com. Oh, if yeah? anybody's interested, <laughs> out of Chicago. And uh, they'll outfit you uh, very nicely if you're interested in becoming a super fan like myself. So yeah, yeah there he is. There's a the guy that made uh, made it happen that's, for that's me. Awesome. And there's the ones that continue to uh, inspire me to, there, there, there's meat there. Right. There it is, in the flesh. Con- it's conk. Conk industry, conk industry right? yes, yeah. yes. And that was okay. I can't see it anymore. Yeah. If you haven't seen it yet, but uh, um, what uh, um, did you like? Did you build this character, or were you guided on this is what we're looking for? And now I'll go do the it. The character uh, given to me was here's the line: pick how you're going to say it, come and say it, and we'll tell you how you said it. If you said it right, maybe we'll do another take. Maybe we'll do another take. Maybe we'll do another take, and until I said it the way they wanted. Yeah. Yeah. This. Uh, that's how. Can you uh, tell us how many takes it took? I, I, well, for different camera angles and purposes, I'm going to say right. I'd, I'd say north of eight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. North of eight. Okay. We'll run with that. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, that's cool. I'm so excited. Yeah. For you. It's. Uh, I can't it, wait to see it. It's. A, it's. A, it's awesome. I hope everybody that hasn't subscribed to Crave yet does it. Gets behind a local guy and uh, even get behind me. Don't be too critical. This is uh, this isn't my day job. So, uh, <laughs> well, not yeah. yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Um, the uh, uh, the Carpenters Union. So you got involved in that because yep. of your dad, right? Yep. Um, were you a handy guy before that, or no. did you learn to be handy? Uh, hey, and there's there's guys down there right now that tell you I'm not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I'm like still, I have trouble changing I, light bulbs. So if you more than that, that, that I'm still not. But uh, I'm the union steward down there, oh, yeah. uh, approachable guy. I uh, like that. Uh, hey, I like it. There's people that uh, say I'm crazy for taking that. People sure. come to you with all kinds of problems, it's a lot of all kinds of issues. Uh, hey, definitely. But uh, there's almost got to be someone out there to listen. And it's uh, if you're willing to listen to somebody and get back to them with uh, when when they're when you're going to get back to them, how you get back to them. It's all about delivery sometimes yeah. too. So uh, people say it's thankless. I I I don't in, I don't love it, but uh, I live it. So but you're there to help. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I hope. Do you ever see yourself in uh, politics? No, no, I don't have the time for it. No. <laughs> I don't have the time, the time for it. or the patience, maybe. Or May, the, maybe or the, I, I I do wear my heart on my sleeve and let a lot of stuff yeah. get under my skin, and uh, just because I care. So people say that's probably my fatal flaw: caring too much. Well, it can be a positive and yeah, it, it can be a, a strength and yeah. a weakness at the yeah. same time. I get that. Yeah, that's cool. I uh, uh, I've been so looking forward to this uh, yeah. to come and, and talk with you because. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and we just set it up like very quickly. I was like, oh, I've got to get this done. Because um, uh, we briefly chatted yep. at the Sarnius thing. We haven't really been able to sit down. And um, back to the Sarnius thing again. Yeah. Um, are you, uh, do you make any plans to like when you show up in the outfit? Do you make plans on what you're going to do, or do you just walk in and feel it out and just just be it, you it all, and just say hi to everybody? This is it. Uh, now they're running up to you. Yeah. Walk in, smile on your face. Kind of be the be a have that magnetic personality and make people want to get yeah. to know you, right? Yeah. Uh, as far as when the camera comes, I always have some some few things planned. But uh, hey, we we go there too. We, all the kids and I are tracking the Wendy's race now. Oh we, yeah, right. We we, we we love to do that. Uh, oh, what do you mean track it? We'll see if we can figure it out. out. Yeah. Oh we'll, yeah. We'll see if we can figure. I it just out. always pick the frosty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a Dave's double guy. So, uh, but uh, no, that's it. Just not go in. Uh, there'll be days. I mean, I've ordered these uh, yellow chains off Amazon. Yeah. Or uh, we'll get beads from uh, the dollar store. Nothing. Not that I'm uh, breaking the bank to get these out, but uh, some just things like that, or maybe some stickers sometime. It, it's great. Who and, do you think likes it more, you or the kids? 
Oh, the kids, the kids do like it, but I would say I like it more yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Big thrill this year. We got to meet Steve Eiserman, hero of mine growing oh, yeah. up, right? standing there. Yes, sir. Uh, I was like, oh, do I go over? Do I say anything? Yeah, I know. And you just don't want to bother. <laughs> yeah, we go over. And I'm like, ask that guy to take a picture. And Paxton goes over and it's Chris Draper. Yep. It was, it was Chris Draper. So like, that's another hockey player, Paxton. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, it was it was very gracious of, uh, for Stevie to uh, yeah. e even put up. And I'm like, I never thought I'd be meeting you dressed like this, right? So, <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, this just, wasn't my plan. Yeah. But that was awesome. Like, say, that's another thing. Like, uh, seeing people there, seeing people you haven't seen in a long time, meeting their kids that are playing hockey. Yeah. Some of the guys I played uh, hockey with growing up, you don't see them. You lose track. It's, it's nice to see them and their kids doing well. You share hockey stories with them about yeah. where they are, where their kid's playing. It's, uh, Does anybody ever come up to you that you know them, but they don't recognize you? Oh, definitely. It happened yeah. a couple, week, couple weeks ago. And you just play along? Yeah, I'm, I must look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You remember me? Yeah, I remember you. Do you remember? No? Okay. No, yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe there's conversation you have at the Sting. Maybe you do some more stuff. I, I, you you I, dropped I, the puck. I did drop the puck. That was for Carpenter's Night. Yeah, and, but uh, still, yeah, that was the right uh, choice. Yeah, that, I, I, I guess, yeah. I was, uh, maybe I'm a good representation of that and uh, say I have the outfit. So it was, it was, it was, that was an awesome thrill for that. You got to bring the boys out. I know they liked having all eyes on them yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we're already making plans for uh, what I'm doing with broadcast next year. So. Uh, we'll have to awesome. have conversate to see how we can include you in that. Oh, that's awesome, Dave. Fun. And uh, I got to tell you, uh, more than I expect. well, I shouldn't say more than I expected. I expected a lot of energy in this interview. And uh, you just seem like a, a grateful guy for, for all that you have and a family. Yeah. And when things happen to you, you're just a yeah. grateful guy. That's that's the best way to best way to be, right? Yeah. I, thank, I don't thank the Lord every day I wake up in the morning, but I'm glad to be here. That's for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Lance, I can't thank you Dave, enough so for much. your time, man. Hey, we're uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna talk some more. That's the off camera interview that we have. But uh, listen, uh, make sure you check this guy out on Facebook, etc. And if you haven't yet, um, I'm sure you'll see him at the Sarnia Sting in the new season. But right now, the trades. And check him out and check out, just go get Crave and just get it done. I'm telling you, it's hilarious. I didn't know what to expect. And I was like, whoa, this is going to be great. I've only seen two episodes. Looking forward to this, right? So, thanks, Dave. Right on. So, as always, thanks so much, everybody. Click the like and the love button, but it's an important button so we can share Lance's story and everybody else they have here on the show. But as always, that's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week. And go Sting. Weekend. There you go, go Sting. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye. Go Sting, go. Watch the trades. <laughs>